Hey guys, I'm in down to earth right now. I was actually in here looking for a new sunblock, so we were testing out some different ones, and then I saw that my skincare is on sale. And the naturals. I am gonna pick up another toner because I'm running low on that. And then this one I've had in the past too. This is a really good one. The turmeric and C enlightened serum is really nice. So every third Tuesday at Down to Earth upstairs here, there's a vegetarian cooking class. A lot of it's raw and vegan. It's just really good. Um, so we're gonna come to this tomorrow. Good morning guys. So sometimes I'm asked, what is it that I'm doing when I'm working from home? Because you know that on the weekends we're out at markets. This is one of the things that I do. Right now I'm painting. Uh, so I take patinas and we start out with a blank. Uh, well, this is for this particular design that I'm explaining for, but we start out with a blank uh, piece of brass. So this is just a solid piece of brass and so that there's nothing on it when it starts out. And then we make a design on it. Like this is the lotus flower that I started making this year. Um, so that's one of the designs. This one I don't typically paint because I kind of like the earthy naturalness of it. But for these, this is the House of India necklace that I do. Um, so this one is the design that I'm painting right now. And so this is how it starts out. I have to finish painting. Um, I need to go out and get another sanding block and let that dry and then I finish sanding and uh, we seal it and it's kind of just a whole little process. So this is one thing that I do when I'm working from home. Um, I'm hoping that I can get these finished and then we can go out to the beach. And because I want the color to be really bold and really fill in all of the grooves, because when the design is done, they have the grooves. There's like a high point and a low point, so the patina will settle into the low points, and I want that color to really pop. So once it's painted one time, then I let it dry, and then I go back over and fill it in again and do another, uh, another coat of the patinas. So the second coat's done. I'm gonna leave these to dry. We're gonna head out, and when I come back, I'll finish them off, sand them, seal them, and they'll be done. All right, I got my beach bag. We're almost ready to go. And I know that you guys had also asked what sunscreen do I use, and I was in between sunscreens for a little while there, so I kind of got out of the habit of wearing it every single day, which isn't good. I know that I should, but I didn't have one that I liked. Like. You know, you really got to like it to be able to want to put it on your face every single day. And so I finally found one. I just finished Evita Solar. I didn't want to mention that in my morning routine video because I knew I wasn't going to be repurchasing it because they changed the ingredients of it. So anyway, I just found this one the other day. This is Andalou Naturals in the, it's the BB All-in-One Beauty Balm. And I really like this a lot. So the active sunscreen ingredient in this is zinc oxide. It's 20% zinc oxide and it's a sheer tint. That sheer tint is just enough to kind of offset the zinc oxide, the whiteness of it. taking you guys to Keawakabu Beach a lot before. This is like our favorite beach to come to. But something that I never end up showing in the videos for some reason is where it is. So if you're visiting here, you can find it if you don't know where it is. But uh, it's on Kilohana. So if you're on the highway and you're coming down the highway, you turn on Kilohana right when you get into Wailea. And then you come straight down Kilohana. And then there's this parking lot, which is going to be on your left and then right across is the beach. There's a little pathway down to the beach, so I'll show you as we get there. All right, so you just cross the street, come to this kind of brick wall. Right down here, there's the showers. We'll opt for some palm tree shade today. 
All right, so that's gonna be our nest, kind of half shade, half sun. I'm gonna come down to the water first because it's just too darn nice. So I've gotta go feel it. Are you gonna get into? Not yet. our business our work is really kind of intertwined with our daily life like we work every single day but we also take time to relax and I don't know, just kind of you know unwind every single day too so I don't know how to explain it we just really try to keep a balance on a daily basis of doing both That's a cute one. Oh yeah, it's got nice colors on it. Striped. We're gonna take you guys to Maka. Kind of Maka. obsessed with that place. Yeah, it's good. Awesome. So see, there's the parking lot. There's the road you come down if you're coming from the highway. This is South Kihei Road. If you're coming from that direction. That's Maka right there, and then directly across is this big gravel dirt parking lot. This makes it easy to park up here. I don't know what we're going to order this time. We might try something different. Ashley's. Okay, so we know we're going to get the Kula Chai. check out the plants. I'm here to get sanding blocks, but I like to see what they have out here. Portulafas. I can only really buy sun plants now because I don't really have any shade around the house. Palms. Look at those little pygmy date palms. They are so cute. The little phoenixes right over there. Those are pretty nice. I've got one in the house now. I have one outside and one indoors. 
My one outside's a little bit bigger. But yeah, oh, these are really nice. They got some gnarly thorns on them though. Check those out. Pink. Yeah. Don't want to get stabbed by that. We just got home and look, this is the first bloom on my baby desert rose. The little Adinia mobisum. Look at that's a nice one too. It's a very petite one, but it has a nice little uh, codex on it. And look at that bloom. It's very nice. There's my other one back there. That, that's the one with the like the two tone. Hey guys, I'm just inside collecting together some of my hand wash items. I have to do a load of hand wash laundry before I get back to work. So like these sort of tops that I love so much, the really wide like open stitch tops, I have to hand wash all of those. But it's totally worth it. I don't mind hand washing, I actually kind of like it. Uh, but it helps protect the tops so they don't get all like stretched out and ruined or snagged or anything. Alright, so I have my 220 grit sanding block and I'm just going to take one of these pieces that has already dried. So right now you can see how it looks. Alright, so you can kind of see some of the color coming through now, some of the gold. Still have a ways to go down here, but that is what it turns into. And I also sand the back as well because that also starts out dark. And that just brings the detail out. So, just to give you an idea. Alright, so I'm going to keep working and I'll check in with you guys later. Michael just reminded me that there was a cooking show that we wanted to go to this evening at 5. So it's 4.30 right now, it's on the other side of town, so I've got to hurry up. It's usually a little bit cold in there, but this should do. Okay, I think that's everything. I'm just going to throw my purse on. I'm going to grab an extra battery for you guys. And I think that's everything, so let's go. We're at Down to Earth. This is where the cooking show goes on. Ready? So right now, Mama T is making raw potato salad. Pass the milk, some glass. So my turn now. Yeah. Oh, me too. I love it. So good. But I, I, so again, what you, what you have on hand, just a little bit of coffee, at least before you sweeten too, just because it might just be sweet enough. We're going to add some lemon, and we're going to add some oranges. I'm gonna add a little bit of more to this. Any more? It's yummy, guys. You're gonna love it. And I'm gonna squeeze just a little more because I have this extra lemon. I'm gonna put it on top here. And then you might want to salt and pepper to taste. If you have gloves, easier to use your hands so you can get it all around. Those sunflower seeds will fall to the bottom, so you want to make sure you get those evenly all around. And I'm on a 30 day Rockwoods challenge right now. I think I told you guys I was starting one on my, I have a Facebook group that I do it four times out of the year. And we have about 150 people in the group, but each time it's not everybody who participates. We have about 45 people on the Rock Challenge right now. Everybody's been posting the most wonderful recipes. It's the most active group that I've done so far. And so it's really fun to be inspired by all of the raw recipes. So here we go, our sprout salad. Now this dressing is wonderful as a dip with cucumbers. It's wonderful with just carrots, anything. You can just use it as a dip. And what a great time of year to go raw, you know, to do a raw food challenge like this springtime when you're in the Spring cleansing clean. phase. That's yeah. like the best time. And really, if you're not inspired to go 100% raw, which everybody's not, it might not work for everyone, the more raw you can incorporate, like at least 50% of your diet being raw, is um, bare minimum, really. Yes. You need at least 50% of your diet to be from raw living, yes. live, organic foods. Yes. And a lot of people are doing the raw till four. Well, they'll do raw foods all the way till four, and then they'll have a cooked meal later in the day. And that's really doable, because then we get in the mindset, well, I'll have a smoothie for breakfast, my chia pudding, and have a big salad for lunch, and then maybe I'll have some quinoa 
and some curry for dinner. So your cooked meals in the evening. This is the sprout. Uh, this is the sprout salad. And then potato salad. Raw potato salad. Okay. Raw potato salad. So it's actually made with potato. Take the colors. Yeah, that's yes. good, huh? Yes. So yeah. Well, real quick, your recipe doesn't say when to add the berries. So after we've done our milk and we've whisked in and there's no clumps, we're going to add in our liquid berries at this time or whatever fruit that you decide to pure in. Okay. Right, we just arrived at the Haiku Flower Festival. So I come from the hill country back there, and this really uh, is a historical chord in my body here in Bluegrass. Speaking of history, uh, over in the Haiku Living Legacy Project area right now, Sunny Gamponia is uh, giving a history lecture on the history of Haiku, plus uh, Lucienne and Daniel, the VGA cable, is in the site. Oh, here's the people I like to buy from at the swap meet. They go usually there every other week, but they're up here and they have a huge spread. Look at all those plants. So our friend Daryl, who's usually at the swap meet, he has really good prices on orchids. He already sold out. Like first thing this morning, he had a huge booth too. So funny. This is a really good place to come if you're into plants and stuff and you're on Maui. Can't beat the prices. Okay, now we're inside at the silent auction. Pottery and artwork. It's all made out of uh, inch and uh, eight by one. Single cuts. They're giving samples for down to earth. One of our favorite places. Uh, I love them. They're so adorable. Okay, we're just out here under the tree in the shade hanging out. Having a snack. So we've got mock chicken, tortilla chips, and then there's rice, which is really good. I don't know, is that a turmeric? I'm not sure. <laughs> Just getting ready to leave the flower festival. We're in Paya now, we're going to Maka. It's gonna seem like we eat here a lot, or it's gonna look like we ate here twice in one day, but it's just because I've been trying to film this video all week. I think it's the best place we've eaten on Maui. Sure. It is definitely my favorite restaurant now. Yeah, but I gotta try the pie then. Try the pie. Michael ordered a strawberry pie. So it looks kind of like a strawberry cream pie, or? shopping for tea. This one down here is the one that I mentioned to you guys that I really like a lot. It's like one of my favorites now, the Amber Sun. And I want to do a sun tea with the Amber Sun. Let's see, this has the rooibos, rooibos, sorry, cinnamon and vanilla. I want to try this one. The milk oolong. Yeah, it's from Taiwan. I'm kind of obsessed with like reading about all the different teas and stuff. I could probably be on this aisle for a solid hour just yeah, <laughs> reading oh, all the geez. teas yeah, and there's so many different kinds. Honda Foods should... has the best selection of tea on the island. Let's see here, look at this. Egyptian mint. Oh, that green tea, I want to try that one. The vanilla chai. Milk oolong sounds good. Yeah, it does. Alright, so far this is what I have in my hand. I'm going to get the 
Burbos chai. I really like the teas that have a little bit of spiciness to it, like warm, spicy vanilla. So I'm gonna try that one this time. And then I'm just gonna get another one of these. So sometimes when I'm in the store, I like to look up reviews on products. So I was just trying to look up the Gypsy Tea brand, uh, the vanilla chai. Turns out they have a coconut chai. I was like, what the heck? I need that, but they don't have it here. They only have the vanilla, so I guess I'll be ordering on Amazon. 